Hi everyone. About a year or two ago, actually maybe two years, 2019, a game was discovered that was a prototype game. The original diskettes were found that had the prototype game on the disc for the Coleco Atom slash Coleco Vision. And that was uploaded on Facebook and some people played it, they figured out how it works. And now someone on Atari Age is actually releasing the game on cartridge. I want to show you what the game was, or is. I'm going to open up the original game down in the original diskette. It was found, not the original diskette, but the original diskette image. The game's called Math Quest or Mathematician's Quest. It's on a version of CPM that's not compatible with the Atom CPM if you try to open it up. CPM can't see it. Um, it's been speculated that it might be personal CPM, which was basically CPM 1.5 something or other. When you look at it, you see that it has some of the standard CPM programs in here with it. You have PIP, which is used for copying things back and forth. You got copy. You have SD, which I am unsure what that is. Color V, I think that's color value. Format, obviously, format diskette. MQBoot.ROM, that's actually a cartridge image. Write TP, I'm not sure what that is. I don't think it's right Turbo Pascal, and I'm pretty sure it's not right toilet paper. X.com, I'm sure. Sysgen, I'm sure. ZSID, that is like DDT. It lets you get inside the Z80 and set breakpoints and view disassemblies. Uh, DU, I'm unsure. I'm going to investigate what's on here. TCON, I'm sure. MQ starts MathQuest. And Fred, I don't know. So I may actually have some more things to do with this software besides just show you the game today. But I'm going to start MathQuest. Or Mathematician's Quest. I believe that's what it says on the title screen. Mathematician's Quest. Yeah. Math or Math Magician's Quest. Development version 1. It uses the keypad because it's a ColecoVision game. And you need an overlay to know what you're doing. I, some people on Facebook did and then I did some more digging. Figured out what a lot of this stuff was. But I didn't figure out all of them. And then I found on Atari Age that somebody else had actually done the rest of it. So now I know what all the symbols are. I'm going to put a copy of this in a link on the Atom Archive. If anybody wants to just print out the overlay. So you've got to select your players. I want one player. Select your level. I'm just going to go straight with beginners. And what we're presented here with is... It's two racetracks or two tracks or something of that nature. I don't know, because I really haven't played as much other than to figure out how it works. I don't know if the various things in the water mean anything. But what I got here is, I have 4 space 4 equals 1. Well, i got to determine what I want to do. Do I want to do 4 minus 4? Well, that equals 0. Or do I want to do 4 plus 4? That will equal 8. I want the largest number because that moves me along a thing. So I'm going to do plus. To do plus on this thing, you hold your either fire button and you press the star key which is also the plus key and then I type in the value which is 8 then I hit the hold that fire button and I hit enter and it moves me jumps me 8 points oh it does the water does count okay I see I have to land on these things if I don't land on the things I go to water and go backwards ah 9 plus 6 I guess Oh, that would give me 15. Where is that going to put me? It might put me in a water, so let's do plus. Plus. Ooh, look at me go! So you see what you do? You're jumping along trying to hop from a lily pad to a lily pad using math to calculate. I'm going to do plus again. Actually, maybe I'm not. I'm going to hit back. Hit. Now we have on here, we have. Fire 6 is all clear, or fire 9 is backspace. I do all clear getting back here. I'm going to do minus this time because I think I want a 5. Yay! Uh, maybe I could have done 6. Oh, God, the button sucks. Okay, it's 3 plus 2 is 5. I'm probably going to put me in the border. No! Oh, there was a key there! Oh, to unlock the door, look at that! This is fascinating now. 
Okay, 8 plus 6, which is 8 plus 6, it's 14. Correct? Yes, correct. Oh, I'm in the water! Okay, I put 8 plus 6, it's 14. So I'm going to do 8 minus, or, oh, 8 plus 4. But well, that's better. 8 plus 4 is 12. Yay! 8 plus 0, eight, either 8 plus or 8 minus, either one works. I'll do 8 minus 0. It's still 8. Yay, I, got, I made it I made it level 1. Look at me go! This is actually kind of cool now that I'm seeing it. I don't know how to play it. The, when they posted it, I saw it, I said, yeah, 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 who cares? It's a video game. I'm, I'm into the programming, but I'm actually, this is kind of, kind of fascinating. 4 plus 2 is 6. The simplicity of it actually makes it fun. Oh, okay, don't land on that thing. Whatever that is, that hurt me. Okay, six. Uh, yeah, I'm good with plusing. I wish it used a keyboard though instead of this, because this is irritating. But it's cool. Yay! Oh, did I get the key? Oh, I got the, Oh! Oh, but I can do minus. See? I missed the key. See the key? I need the key to open it up. But I gotta go back one for that. But I can do 6 minus 5 and get 1 and go back 1. Hey, I went backwards. What did it say to me? 7 minus 4 is so 3. I gotta go backwards. Is it not letting me go backwards? Oh, 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 wait, I'm not going backwards. I can't open the door. Uh, how do I go back? Oh. I can't go backwards. It's not letting me do negatives. What am I doing this, Bill? Millie? Oh. Uh. Yeah, it's, it's going to tell me the same thing, too. Try opening the gate first. It's gonna yell at me. Nine plus three. The guy down there is stuck because he did. He never got the key. Look at him. He, he's bad. I don't know how you go backwards though. Ooh, ooh, that hurt. But how do I go backwards now? Now that now that's a hard part. I think I'm stuck now. Let's see, I just can't go backwards now. Oh, so I, I, I think I learned the reason why the game's hard. Oh, Mathematician's Quest. It's pretty cool. Now that I figured out some parts of it out. Down, I'm going to put it on the archive. I'm going to put a copy of the inlay so you can print it up for yourself, or at least know how it works. And. Now I'm going to explore what's on the CPM disk and see if I can make another video about that one because that's, that's more interesting stuff to me. But this is actually pretty darn cool. Like if I don't see how you go backwards. And I don't know what these numbers here, 4 and 6, what is that telling me? Because that ain't, I don't know what you do with that. Alright, well, that's the game. Give it a download. Try it out.